gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am your host, Data T, and this is my channel, The Good Guys. Guys, today's story comes out of Greensboro, North Carolina, and the title reads, Family Reacts to 12-Year-Old Shooting Home Intruder. Now, this story is also a part of Kids Week. This is the week that I have chosen to highlight children using their firearms or even their parents' firearms in most cases uh, to protect themselves, to protect their siblings, and even their own parents or legal guardian. Okay, um, It's going to highlight or even... Um, as I approach the subject of should children have guns, even the possession of them under the Second Amendment, and I want to hear what you guys have to say. But before we get to that, OK, please subscribe, give a like, contribute a message. Um, we are on the road still to a thousand subscribers and I know we can get there with everyone's help remember we are also you can if you'd like um, hit me with a message on Twitter on minds and even on truth social so without further ado let us dive into to today's story Tonight, Goldsboro police are investigating after a 12-year-old fired gunshots at two intruders in an apartment. One of the suspects died of his injuries. WREL's Kirsten Gutierrez has more. This is a picture of Linda Ellis, a 73-year-old grandmother who was shot in the leg during an attempted robbery in her home this morning. Now, if it wasn't for her grandson's brave actions, family members tell us things would have been a lot worse. Just before 1 a.m., Goldsboro police responded to a shooting at this apartment complex on South William Street. That's where they found Ellis suffering from a gunshot wound. The phone was constantly ringing and ringing. It was a phone call. Chiquita Coley, Ellis's great niece, never thought she would have to answer. I just couldn't believe she didn't shoot her because she's a good person. A good person who Coley says didn't deserve this. Police tell us two masked suspects forced their way into Ellis's home and demanded money. Why would somebody come in her house and do these? Family members tell us when they told the robbers they didn't have any cash, Ellis was shot in the leg. Ellis's grandson was home at the time. They tell us he grabbed a gun and started shooting at the intruders in self-defense. Okay, now let us go through this story because... I think this is particularly heinous, um, especially with the criminals. And the correct response here is yes, they had to have a firearm in the home to get the get these attackers out of their house. Now, take a look at this. The grandma, okay, um, as they burged or they barged into the home, okay, um, an armed robbery. Can we say that the grandma should have been armed? Guys, I'm going to tell you, you never know when these guys are going to react. And it even in some cases for us self-defenders, the motto is to always be ready. Even at the age of 73 years old, there have been multiple cases on this platform, on this channel where we have highlighted older people using firearms, even to the tune of 93 years old. Okay? Now, I know there are certain ailments, there are certain health things that may, it could prevent you from carrying a firearm. Let's say you have arthritis in your hand, you can't grip the firearm, or you got Alzheimer's where you shake, you may not be able to shoot. I know, I understand that, okay? And we don't know that if that's the case here with this 73-year-old grandma, okay? So I'm not going to give too much fault here to her. We had a similar case earlier this week, the same thing with a grandma, okay? And I, I question her, her ability to carry a firearm as well. 
because we don't want this to to befall on children. We don't even want the environment where the children may have to step in. We want to guard them from that as well. Okay? But in this instance, it looks like genuinely uh, grandma was caught off guard, right? Like anybody could be. And the children have stepped in to take care of the situation. We don't want that to happen. But guess what? This child was able to get a firearm and shoot at these jokers who came into the home and he ended up killing an intruder. He also probably, maybe he wounded the other one. We don't, we're not sure. Okay. But um, this, this is more common than you think it's not the norm to have children use firearms guys but guess what in the cases that i have brought to you especially in this month i have seen where children of of a lot of ages are using guns to protect themselves their siblings and their parents and their grandparents and even legal guardians it is it is it is something that is as I am reading these stories, I'm thinking to myself guns should be guns sh children should have them. And I don't I don't want I, I am still even cringing at the idea of children going into a store purchasing a firearm i i i i don't i gotta tell you i don't think i want i don't think i want that i want the parents to do their job and protect children that's what i want okay but in some cases guys if you are incapacitated okay something that i mean it could happen to you even if you carry a gun for a living somebody can shoot you from behind you wouldn't know, uh, regardless of all the situational awareness training you may have, or you may that you that you are scanning left and right. You cannot be one hundred percent vigilant all the time. You are a human being; it will not happen. So, in this rare case that it does happen. And the child steps up and shoots. It's just something to behold. It's something to to think about. And in my case, and in a lot of people's cases, do you teach your children how to use a gun? I believe that children should know how to use it. For this specific reason. Not just to hunt, not just because it's an extracurricular activity, not because it's a sport, for the very reason of self-defense. Let's move on. The suspects ran away. But I knew God was on our side. Police tell us they found one of the intruders, 19-year-old Khalil Herring, down the road suffering from a gunshot wound. He was taken to the hospital and died of his injuries. As for Ellis, she remains in the hospital. She, you know, she's stable, but she's, you know, in pain. Coley tells us the 12 year old is doing okay and that they're all just trying to get through this together as a family. We're emotional about it. She been here for so many years. Who would have thought somebody would come in here and do that? Police tell us they do not expect to file criminal charges against a 12 year old. Kirsten Gutierrez, WREL News, Goldsboro. So, you guys hear that, okay? Most of the time, I, I like I said, um, in previous videos and in previous uh, instances and things that I have read and even the YouTube shorts, most children do not get charged, okay? Thank goodness for that, all right? Um, but then there is the case where um, there are laws out there that say, hey, 
you should not have your children be able to access firearms when you're not there. And I believe that's bullshit. Okay, that's uh, the very fact. And the reason why we are covering this in this week is just in case you aren't there. If you're not there, what would happen? What would you do? We've covered a case where the 15 year old boy had to use his fire, use a a firearm in self-defense when the father wasn't there. Should he have been there? That's another question. But I'm going to tell you, uh, um, children can be taught how to use firearms in a life or death situation. And these jokers came in there and they just in, they just shot grandma because she wouldn't hand it over the cash. Absolutely. This is a case where, I mean, um, I'm not even remotely sad that this 19 year old died. It, not in the slightest. Me personally, if 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 it becomes between me and him and we have to do the dirty deed and and get rid of him, I'm going to tell you, I probably I'm maybe I may need therapy, but maybe some other people will sleep like a baby because they've dispatched evil. okay, and they've done it successfully and their family can live to tell about it. I think a lot of people will live pretty good and they may not think about oh yeah i got rid of that joker in some cases i know you're thinking hey 19 year old that's somebody else's baby yes that's true but why was that child out there doing the same thing and matter of fact 19 years old he he's he's a an adult but it's somebody else's baby i'm i'm you know i i understand that but guys, what do you think? I mean, this is uh, this is uh, this is uh, another sad case where, in my opinion, guys, I don't want children to have to step up and defend the family. You know, it should be the man's job. And yes, I'm going to go there. It should be the man's job. Protect and provide. OK. And in some cases, yes, mom has to do that, too. Mama bear can protect the children, especially if the bat, the dad is not there or if there's no dad in the picture. It's something that I oh, man, we don't want this to happen. But the reality we are living in. We have to have guns. And that means also children. For this explicit reason. We have to have them. Guys, what do you think? Should children have guns? This is the question that we should ask, especially pertaining to the Second Amendment. My stance is that they should be under the supervision of parents. The only caveat I have is what happens when those parents become abusive? What do you do then? You know, protecting the children should be our number one goal. Number one. And uh, this is a sad case. But guys, think about this. What would happen if we didn't have the guns? And this is why I say good people should always have guns. Good people should have multiple guns. And that extends to their children. Because if evil persists, good men, if they do nothing, will have no